number 12 I have one announcement uh, you will have a midterm examination on I think April 1st no? Hmm? Tuesday. And it is April 1st. Okay? It's not joking. Why? Huh? <laughs> I mean, if you consider April 1st, something has to do with joke. But uh, we will have midterm examination on April 1st. Okay, before having a midterm examination, I and Professor Kwang Jung Kim decided to have a review session that will help you to review what you've learned during the first half of this course. Okay? And we didn't decide when we are going to have a review session and will be announced soon. And the review session will be will be done by Professor Kwang Jun Kim at this time. Therefore the language he will use is not English or French. <laughs> so I must apology, apologize to you guys who cannot understand Korean. But when we have a review session, just one week before final examination, the review session will be done by by myself, and therefore the the language I'm going to use is English. So sort of fair combination, right? Okay. If you prefer to, I mean, if some of the students who uh, who cannot understand Korean, even though you have a Korean name, then you may Ask to your friends what Professor Kwang Jun Kim reviewed, or you, you just stick on the my lecture, maybe reviewing the video lectures which are posted on our website. And one other thing I must apologize again to you is that the lecture, video lecture of the last one, uh, it's not posted on our home page because we failed to have audio signal. Is there somebody who had an audio signal for the last lecture? I I I I, I recognize that some maybe Jayden you recorded my lecture, no? Oh not this time. Okay, if there is someone else who recorded my lecture Please let us know, then we can use that uh, signal to somehow recover, uh, somehow combine the, our video image so that we can have a complete set of video lecture. Okay. Uh, in the last lecture, we studied the vibration of two degree of freedom system that has two mass on frictionless floor. Okay. M1, M2 and K1 
and K2, those are spring constant that connects mass and the wall and the mass to mass itself. Okay. The coordinate that can describe the motion of this system has to be two. Why? That's why we call those vibratory system as two degree of freedom vibratory system. Okay? Having these coordinates and then what we have to do is to find out the governing law that really governs the dynamics or vibration of those two degree of freedom system. Those are the, that is Newton's second law. Okay, so Newton's second law says says unbalanced the force acting on the mass induces the mass times acceleration, inertia force. Okay? If we express that law upon this system, that can be look like this. The unbalanced force acting on M1 has two components. One is K1, X1, that is the restoring force when I push M1 with the uh, displacement X1. And then there is another force acting on this side, okay, that can be either this direction or this direction depending on the magnitude of displacement and the net magnitude of displacement on M1 due to X2 and X1. Suppose X2 is larger than X1, then there is a, some positive displacement in this direction. Therefore, I have force like this. K2 X2 minus X1. Okay? I'm pulling the M1 because X2 minus X1 is positive. And that introduces M1, X1, double dot. And considering Newton's second law on mass 2, in similar way, the give us unbalanced force due to the displacement x2 and x1 that will be k2 x2 minus x1 again because the direction of these force the reason why the directions of these forces are different is because it has to follow the famous famous third law Newton's third law that has to do with reaction, reaction relation that has to be also balanced by M2 X2 double dot okay expressing these uh, relation in arithmetic uh, and in, in, in algebraic uh, uh, in algebraic form then we will have 